Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be doing a full face of affordable makeup, which I really like to incorporate affordable things into my makeup. I'll use on a daily basis, both affordable and higher end. So I just want to show you a full face of affordable makeup. I know things are difficult during this quarantine time, so I want to show you something you can do that's affordable for when you get out. So low on cash and everything. So. We're just gonna jump right in. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click the bell right down below so you be notified of all of my future uploads. So we're just gonna jump right in. So the first product we're gonna use is the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum. And it says it's hydrating, so I've really like, been liking this primer because it just hydrates my face when it's been super dry lately. Just has like a nice little dropper like this, so I just put a little bit on either side like so and then just kind of rub it in with my fingers it kind of has like a rose scent to it it's not like a bad rose scent but it has like a slight rose scent which I like and it does have a very tacky feel to the primer it's not horribly tacky but it's nice tacky to where the product foundation will adhere to the face. So next up for a foundation, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in the Dewy one. So this is the new one, and I'm shade Soft Beige in this. And I really have been liking this combination, this primer with this foundation that came out about the same time. So yeah, we're just gonna go right in with this foundation. So I zoomed you in a little bit, so we're going to just apply this foundation right on. It's got this nice little spatula, and I just really run it all along the face, wherever I need it. And this, if you've tried the original Photo Focus foundation, you'll know it had like a paint scent to it. And this one doesn't. They kind of put like some perfume or something in it. So it does not have that horrendous paint scent anymore. The foundation's wonderful, but it doesn't have that scent to it. So just all over. You can add more if you need to. I'm just gonna go in with the Tati Beauty Blend Full. So this, her product, her eyeshadow palettes, I think like. 49 or something like that, but her blendful is only $18, so it's not super expensive. You probably can find cheaper things, but this is re super reusable, so I really like this. So it's kind of in the middle between affordable and high end. So I'm just bring this on, and I like to start with a little bit of foundation, and then we can always add in more as needed. And just run this all around. So this Foundation, I would say, is more like a medium buildable one, but it's definitely a medium when you use just a little bit. So I like to go in just with the first layer, and then I'll add in where I need to add extra coverage. So that's just one layer of that foundation, and I'm going to go in and add some to the spots where... I like to have a little bit more coverage. So right in here, I like to add a little bit more and then wherever I have like some spots. And then I like to do on my nose a little bit more. But I really like this foundation because it's very similar how it performs to the original, but it is more of a loomy, dewy look while the original is more of like a natural finish to more matte. Like you could have it be either. And then for concealer, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Light Peach. And I really like this one. I like the original one too. This one just gives a little more hydration to the skin than the original is more like a matte formula. So depending on which formula you like, I would use that. And I will caution that the hydrating formula is darker. 
So the shade I use for the matte is a shade darker than I would for the hydrating. The hydrating just for some reason, the shade, you get the same shade in the hydrating as you do the original, which is more matte. It's not the same shade. Just be warned on that. And then just another corner of the blendful. I'm gonna go in with just blend out all that concealer. And I love both formulas are super easy to blend out. They don't dry down super fast where they're not easy to work with. And the matte formula is definitely a dupe for Shape Tape by Tarte. So if you are looking for dupes, but if you have more dry skin, I think you will like the hydrating better. My skin tends to be more dry in the winter months, and then it gets not, it goes more like normal in the summer months for some reason. I think it's because of where I live. It's just, it gets dry here. And then to set under the eyes, I'm going to take the Cover Girl True Blend Minerals Loose Mineral Powder in the shade Banana. And I'm just gonna take a brush. Let's see if I can find my brush. I'm just gonna take this brush, it's the Morphe E48. Just this nice little zoomed brush. And then I just take some on here and I tap it off so there's not a ton of excess. And I'm just tap it under the eye. And then I bring that also on the lid just to set down because I put my foundation and concealer on my lid just to act as a primer for shadow. And I'll put this banana act. Not just under the eyes, but anywhere I put that concealer because it just really brightens up the eye and all of those places. <coughs> oh, I got some of that powder in my face. And pretty much all the brushes I'm going to use today are Morphe brushes. They're super affordable. You can get some Morphe brushes at Ulta or on Morphe's website. I know right now they're doing a ton of deals on like all their products just because everybody's stuck at home and can't really go out to stores and all their actual Morphe stores are closed. So they're doing a ton of sales. So check that out and then all over the face I'm just gonna use the translucent shade of that covergirl true blend minerals oh my god it's a tongue twister and just take a nice fluffy brush so this is a JH02 so this is Jaclyn Hills collab with Morphe so it's still a Morphe brush. So all their collabs that they do for Morphe, it's a Morphe brush. They just change the handle and the name. But you can find the brush as like a Morphe whatever brush. So an M whatever or E whatever. Or some of their collabs, they'll just put those brushes together, don't even change the handles or anything. So that's all over the face. So next step. We are going to do eyeshadow. As you know, I don't really do brows, so I can I will offer some affordable brow options. Let me find some for you. So a nice 
brow pencil is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I really like this one. And then for like a brow gel, the Brow Fast Sculpt, I like this one. On a typical day, I use a brow gel. Like if I'm going to really step my and do like high end or like full glam makeup. But for just an everyday look, since my brows are like this, I don't really, I tend to use like a clear brow gel if I have one on hand. So, yeah, you can use that for your brows. So for eyes, we are going to go into the C Color Golden Palette. So this is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. So I will leave a link to Kelly Strack's video. She actually did a video on dupes and this was one of them. So I got it because this actually performed better than the 125 Natasha Denona Palette. And this was like... I think less than $15 on, I got it on Amazon, so it got here super quick. But yeah, it's so pretty. It's got a mirror, so we're just going to jump right in. So first up, I'm going to go into a Morphe M441 brush, this nice fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into this shade right here they don't have shade names so just going into that one Ooh. it is does have a lot of fallout if you can see i just dipped my brush in this and it has i don't mind that some people might so just be warned i haven't tried the natasha no one that's like this to know if that has a ton of fallout either but they tend to be super pigmented when they have more fallout I'm gonna zoom you in really close so you can see the eyes. Zoomed you in, so just going in with that color. Just start bringing that into the crease. When the shade is pretty pigmented. a little bit more just to get that super packed in so let me know what all of you have been doing to occupy your time during this coronavirus and if you're still having to go into work or if your work's being really good about letting you work from home so just let me know all that down below. And I also still have a giveaway going on my Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. So I'll have a link to that video so you can still enter that giveaway for the palette. And next I'm going to dip into this shade right here on an M433 brush. So it's just... A smaller fluffy brush. And just this is nice because it's flat on one side and fluffy on the other. If you can see, so it's fluffy and then flat, so you can really get it into the true crease of the eye. And just bring that in to that crease and just really define out that crease. Kind of pack it on the outer. V and just bring it in. And as you can see, it really defines out that true crease. Then I'm going to go in with a M456, so it's just an even smaller brush on the deepest shade in the palette right here. So it's dark brown shade. And we're really going to focus this on the outer V of the eye. And then I'm going to take that first brush, the M456, 
441 and just kind of blend in this color just to get rid of any of those harsh lines. I really want to try out this like bluish green color right here. I'm trying to decide where I want to put that. I'm going to pack it a little bit in. So I'm just going to take an M506 brush and take this bluish green shade right here. And just pack that right next to the brown and then kind of bring it in. And just kind of overlap it, but bring it to like the center of the eye. And I'm really like just dabbing this on because it does, it is kind of a shimmer shade. So I don't want to do it too much to where you can't see it. So if you blend it too much, it won't work. So that's why I'm using this tiny little brush. Just really pack that on, as you can see, like so. And just do that to the other eye as well. And then go back in with that M56 shade that we used for the dark brown and add a little bit of that just to blend those two colors together really well. And then all over the lid, I'm gonna take this like rose gold shade right here and take an M124 brush, so just a flat, small brush. And I just put some setting spray on it. And just pack this in to the inner part. Let's see. It's not going on quite as I would hope. Let's try the finger. Maybe that will work better. Oh yeah, the finger works so much better. Just kind of like feather that in. That bluish shade, just to, I'm kind of putting it over it a little bit too, just so it blends all together. Kind of making a gradient eye. And just really focus that in on the lid. On the other side. And I'm going to go back in with that brush just to get the parts that I couldn't quite get with my finger. And this shimmer does have a little bit of fallout, so I'm just going to wipe that away. Then on the lower lash line, I'm just going to take a flat brush like so. And this is an M410 brush. I'm going to go into that deeper shade right here. And just really pack that in close to the lash line. Like so. And I'm going to take that M433 brush that we used for this shade right here and just smoke out that lower lash line. Like so. So you can see it's not as harsh of a line as on the other side. And 
And then also with that brush, I'm gonna go along the tops of each of the eyes just to make sure that colors are really blended out. Oops. And that's the look you get. That, oh, almost forgot. So I'm gonna do this whitest shade in the inner corner with an M43 brush, this tiny little detail brush. And just bring that right in the inner corner just to brighten it up. And because this is so shimmery, I'm gonna use a different highlighter for neat the brow bone. <laughs> And use the highlighter. We're gonna use all over the face beneath the brow bone. But I really like this palette. It worked great, and it's very pigmented for twelve dollars. So that is a great deal to me. And then in the waterline, I'm gonna take a ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade Call Me. So it's like this brownish shade, and just put that into the waterline. And then if you've watched my videos before, you know I do not do a mascara until after I do my setting spray. So I'm going to zoom you back out and we're going to finish the face so that we can get this look to come all together. So for all over the face, we're going to jump into the Physicians Formula Butter Collection X Weili Huang. And these are so pretty. So it's full face. So you got two bronzers, two blushes, two highlighters. So we're just going to jump into this. This palette smells so good, it reminds me of the beach. So, we're going to go into the Sunset Bronzer right here on an E33 brush. So it's this nice fluffy brush. And just take that in. This palette does not have a mirror. I was looking for a mirror on it. Just kind of bronze up the cheeks with this. And that bronzer is so pretty and it's very pigmented like you do not need a ton of it but the fan brush kind of like diffuses it when you know it's gonna be a more intense a bronzer but that is so pretty And it smells so good. It reminds me of summer. This palette is smells like cocoa butter. Ugh. And I love having palettes that have like all of it in one. So especially if you're traveling, they're really nice for travel. Because then you can just take the one palette and you got everything you need. And look at that bronzer. It's so pretty. And they both seem to have like a little bit of shimmer on the bronzers. One's just a deeper bronzer than the other. But I really like the bronzer color. It's so pretty. And then I'm going to take the darker of the shades to contour with. So this is deep bronzer. Just take a little bit of that. I'm just go in and contour. So this is the only brush that's not a Morphe brush. But you can use any contour brush you like. Like so, and then I go back in with that other brush just to blend that all together. And then take an E62 brush, so like so, just the tiniest bit, just to contour the nose. And I like to go back in with that, it's kind of make sure it's all blended. 
flex. And then for blush, I think I'm going to go into the more peachy blush right here. So this is apricot. So there's wildflower and apricot. So I'm going to go into the apricot shade. Just is calling my name. I love a peachy, pinky blush like that. Just put that in. This is an E4 brush. Just put this blush on. Oh, that's so pretty. Just, it's giving me summer vibes with this palette. Just, I am loving it. It is such a nice palette. The only place I was able to find it is Target. So I think it's a Target exclusive. So get this palette. It's amazing. We're really liking it. And then there's two different highlighters. So there's Golden Hour and Whimsical. I think I'm going to put the Whimsical beneath my brow bone. And I'll use the Golden Hour as my all over highlight. So I'm going to zoom you in so you can see it on my brow bone. And then I'm just going to use an M43 brush. So the same brush we use for the inner corner. I just use a color switch so you don't have that problem. And then just put this beneath the brow bone. Ooh, that is a pretty shade. It definitely has those pinks and gold reflex. I'll show you again how it looks in the palette to where if you swirl it you get a little bit of both. That's so pretty. So if you can see in the palette there's like it's pink and then you've got like these strips and stuff of gold so that's really pretty and then for the face highlight I'm gonna go into an E501 brush like this and go into that golden hour so it looks like the highlights and the blushes are limited edition so I don't know if they're just made for this palette or whatnot but they are so pretty so I keep trying to pick this palette up and use it as a mirror, but there's no mirror in it. So just put that highlight. Ooh, that is pretty. And that is definitely golden. If you can see, I hope it is picking up. But it is a very like pretty true gold when it comes off on the skin. And it looks a little more like bronzy pinky in the palette, but it comes off, at least on my skin tone, very true golden and is very pretty. It's not like a pop out there blinding, but it's a very like nice, subtle, very finely ground glitter that's in it. So it gives that nice subtle beautiful highlight that's so pretty just want to put it all over so now for setting spray we're going to use the morphe luminous setting spray so i really like this and this has a really really good scent i tried it in my last video and i have been loving it it has definitely been one that could replace my all-nighter it works so good and it's so much more affordable and this scent on this is amazing so I'm gonna use this mm, just it's a very summery scent to me so this is definitely a go-to and get it it is so nice next for lips I'm gonna use the NYX track the lip liner in the shade nude so this is one of my go-to's it has been for a while just line eyelids And then for lipstick, we're going to use the Revolution Pro. So this is Makeup Revolution, essentially. It's just the higher end that they say lipstick in the shade Stripped. Looks like so. 
It's this nice, like, mauve dusty pink color. See, it's just a beautiful mauve color. And then for mascara, we're gonna use the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift. This has been one of my favorites since it came out. I have used it pretty much every day unless I'm testing out a new one. It has definitely, if you see my video, older videos, the Maybelline Total Temptation was my favorite. This is still a good one, but the Falsies Lash Lift has definitely replaced it. So Maybelline for me is one of my favorite mascaras, even above the high-end mascaras. I honestly think the drugstore does it better for a way cheaper price. So I'm just gonna put some mascara on. So this is the completed look we get using all of this affordable makeup. I hope that you enjoyed this and make sure you subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. I really appreciate all of the subscribes I get. I will also have that link to Kelly Strack's video that I said where she compared the C color palette so you can see really how it does perform against the Natasha Denona palette. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out my Instagram, it's m.hartman5. And make sure you are entering into my giveaway on my other video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.